Higher. Don't cry, Lex, we love you. We have Jams Long Beach this morning, and Lexi got injured the day before the competition, and that was really nerve-wracking for us because it was pretty, it was pretty serious. Like, she couldn't tumble, so we had to kind of come in early, figure out what we were gonna do. One and two, three and four, five, seven and one, and three and five, seven and one, three and stop. Are you okay to do all that? You sure? Okay. We didn't even know that Lexi was hurt. It wasn't even like Eddie put in the group chat, like, oh, Lexi got hurt, come in earlier, because it was so early in the morning, we couldn't even come in earlier. So it was just like, Lexi got hurt, we gotta readjust things, you gotta deal with it. And it was like, you gotta stay on your toes and do your job, so. Warm it up. One, three, and four. Five, seven, and one, three. How about, are you okay? Yeah. Next group. Lexi got injured, so we had to take her out of the spots. We had to figure, we had to figure it out. My group couldn't move to the front anymore. We had to stay in the back the whole time. Are you guys okay? Can you get around fast enough? You sure? I know Eddie was pretty worried. I was worried because I didn't want to like tear my knee or anything, and I didn't want it to be like too, too serious to the point where I had to be out this season. If she has to stop to the back, you can stop her to the back and just quarter turn on the open, okay? Man. Now like marking stuff in sections matters, so that's kind of nerve wracking again because sometimes you're so programmed to do one thing that when you change it the morning of, it's like, oh my God, are people gonna remember? So it's like, it's hard when something like that happened. Uh, opening partners, let's go boys. And, and one. And three, hit four, five, up seven, and one. Control, squeeze your abs, please. Try it again. One, and three, hit four, five, up six, seven. Try it again, we have to hit. Open your palm, palm forward, middle finger back. Breathe. It is like, quite like, tense, because obviously like, with the part the stunt, it was going a bit iffy, um, but it's quite like a recurring thing, which is starting to be a bit like, oh. Legs, and three, up four, five, seven, on, and three, up four, five, seven, and one. Keep your feet flat, you're playing your feet super hard off the bottom. We had, yeah, partner stunt for showcase, so it was the same stunt that um, backstage, then again, we had that issue, like backstage. I don't know if it's just the nerves getting to us or whatever it is, but, yeah, it's just a bit weird. You got it. And one, two, three, four, and five, and seven, going one. Three, up four, five, six, seven. Not bad, make sure we follow through. You really just gotta squeeze your grip. We're just tapping the bottom of her foot and just flipping it, squeeze, it. how about? And let's go. Uh, we've had great practice all week, yes. So no doubts, we know we can handle this, right? Um, that was great. For how early it is and not having a pre-warm up, that was good. Uh, we have eight minutes of tumbling and then we have a stunt run. Go, go do it. Point your feet, point, 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 chest up. There you go. And don't take that step. Point, chest up, good. Point your feet when you spin, point your feet when you spin. Woo, put your blinker on. Competing on Smode is completely different than what other people think. It's a lot of pressure just being from big team and getting all the pressure you do get from Eddie and all the fans. So going out there and hitting is what we strive for every time. And whenever we have one flaw or something happens, it's literally the first thing on social media. Go, Callum. Hit, hit, squeeze, squeeze, keep going. Hold it, left, start. The warm-ups are really not going very well. People are kind of just like putting down stunts and like it's hard, I know it's hard to like in the morning and stuff, but at the same time like it's also like nerve wracking to have a really tough warm-up like that because that's what you're gonna put out on the floor. Um, you know what, whatever elites need to go, elites go now, that's more important right now, go. Nice and easy. Replace flat, grab high. What happened? McKenna and Malia stunt, oh my gosh. Today in warm ups was just frantic. Uh, last competition was, was exactly the same, same exact people, wigging out, getting ahead of themselves, getting in their heads, getting their feelings, and we just don't have time for it. What happened? Huh? 
don't know, they're freaking out. Bring it in. Sometimes my group gets like a little flustered backstage and we're a little inconsistent. So right now we just need to stay focused and confident. At this stage in the game, we can't afford to water down, you understand? If you want to bid next week, we cannot go out there with low to highs. We can't. We're not a restricted five team. So get out of your heads. Whatever's happening, stop waking out. It's the same people over and over, every event, and it's starting to create a pattern. Get over it. Do you understand? Not only are you sabotaging yourself, but you're sabotaging your teammates because you refuse to get your head in the game. You're too nervous. Knock it off. Did we not practice our balls off this week? So what's the problem? Nothing changed between Wednesday and now. I told you to get in the gym if you had to. You should have gotten in the gym. Got it? So we're going to go balls to the wall. So whatever needs to happen between here and you step on that blue floor, get your sh together. Got it? Let's go. They're competitors. Everyone's been doing competitive cheerleading since they were a tiny tot, so there's no reason for them to get all flustered over a stunt that we've been doing since last year. You know, our bid event is next weekend. It's a big weekend next weekend. It's a $25,000 weekend, so we can't afford people wigging out backstage and making the rest of the team nervous or, you know, anxious about them or worried about them. This competition, we just have to go for it and see what they can and can't handle on the floor. That way we can make decisions for next weekend. We were just like halfway through the routine, mid jumps, and then the music just went off. And when you're like in the competition mode, you don't really like take note of it. So like, it kind of like after the jump section, it kind of just triggered like, oh, there's no music, but you just have to carry on.
It was not the best run, but it's okay. But uh, just be proud of yourselves. Overall, elites look great, timing look great. Uh, press full rounds, awesome job. That's what I was stressing out the most, and that's, it looked really good, okay? You guys, great push. Hey, it is what it is. We just gotta wear it. Now we know what we need to work on for the next week, okay? Considering the changes and whatever we had to go through, it was not a bad performance, okay? So be proud of yourselves. I think that it was good to get out and like, get from something right before our good competition. In the end, overall, it was a great performance, so I was really proud of them. Um, they could have, you know, let one mistake become two, become three, become four, and they didn't. They shook it off and just kept going. It was great. Alexi and I have been friends since my first year on SMOED. Now we're on different teams and yeah, I don't see her as often, but it's like we're even closer because we have more to talk about. She talks about practices and I talk about my practices. Okay, so how's your knee? This is a little sore. I can bend it a little bit. So Alexia had just gotten hurt and it was kind of unfortunate because it was right before this competition and it's kind of hard to see her go through that. But like competing and I know you didn't have to like do more anything but was that weird? It was weird. Because I, like, I know like we always are like together and everything and like we tumble together all the time and like you know. Be... For a competition I was taken out of my tumbling. I didn't throw my toe full. My toe wonderful and my straight double. 
So he took me out just to be safe. Even if I'm hurt or whatever, like I still go for it. Yeah. So it's kind of hard not to do it. And being on stage kind of tumbling, I was like, I hope I don't flip. Like, yeah. Like, I hope I don't accidentally do it, because it's like autopilot in general. It's pretty scary, because cheer is my whole life. My whole life is surrounded by cheer, and like, being taken out because of an injury is heartbreaking, because it's what I do, and it's something that could just be taken away from you any second, and you really just can't take it for granted. It's bid week. This competition, we're going to GSSA in Bakersfield. We are going against Black Ops, Reckless, Ghost Recon. This is where we're supposed to get our paid bid to Worlds. Get off the floor. I don't know. We get to our last practice, and everything's just falling apart. I'm not even going to trip with them. 